I was Lime Macedo speaking to you from LimeMacedo.com and it was Lime Macedo. Date is April 18, 2016. Time right now is uh, 2 10 in the afternoon. Uh, I just wanted to address uh, the how important interview skills are because I just happened to get this random message like, Eloy, uh, how important are interview skills? Well, uh, I thought uh, it's good to make up a video with regards to that. Now, you need to understand that, uh, you know, the first part is the resume. Resume is like the trailer where you advertise yourself and someone feels, wow, that is good content in this resume. I need to maybe, you know, call this guy and uh, give him a chance for getting a job. Okay. Uh, so they call you for the interview. The interview is a process whereby the employer wants to get to know you. He wants to talk to you and see, um, do you fit into the bill? Are you desirable? Are you the type that he would want to give a chance? Now, unfortunately, what happens here in UAE, I don't know about other countries, most of them ask standard cliche questions. Not all, but most, okay? So they'll ask you questions like, tell me something about yourself. The reason why they ask you, tell me something about yourself, is because the guy most probably hasn't gone through your resume. He wants you to tell him something so that he can ask you, start a conversation, get warmed up. And also because... Uh, you know, he wants to test your communication skills, how you can sell yourself to him. Okay, that's the first part. Tell me something about yourself. The next cliche question is, um, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? So this question is normally asked for them to see how much do you know of yourself and how honest you are. Now, this is a catch-22 situation because obviously if you have a weakness like you're gossipy or you're lazy, or um, sometimes you are complacent, obviously you can't say that. You can't say that I have a bad temper. This never works, okay? So the next part is um, how do you market this, the strengths and weakness? Strengths by not sounding too pompous and proud and weakness by not sounding too dumb and dishonest, okay? Uh, then uh, the... You know, then there are these subcategory questions like uh, they can ask me, sell me this pen or uh, they give you a situation. Okay, let's imagine this situation took place. How would you react? So there they want to see your quick thinking. Okay. And last but not the least, the most important question is why should I give you this job? Now here, it's more like he is dying to know, like, you know, tell me, tell me. I'm, I'm convinced you're the guy for the job, but how do I go to the management and pitch them that you're the guy. How can I put my reputation on the line by recommending you? So these are the you know four or five standard questions people ask. Um, I normally would never ask these questions, never, because I know these are all canned, planned, and uh, banned questions. They are stupid questions, okay? I would like to talk to the person and, uh, you know, on a one-to-one -one basis. But remember this, uh, you know, these interview skills are very, very necessary because you need to be able to give the guy thought-provoking answers, questions that will make him think, questions that will make him what? wow, this guy's different, this guy's unique. I never, in all my interviews that I've done, uh, ever since I became a branding specialist, people have called me for interviews to see if they required my services, okay? I never, uh, you know, give them the answers they expected. For example, people said, what are your strengths? I tell them my strengths, I break rules. Now, obviously, the guy is like, what? So, yes, I tell them I break rules and then I go on a logical sequence as to why do I break rules, how do I break rules, and how it can benefit him. Then if he asks me, um, uh, what are your weaknesses, I, 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 I tell him that uh, I make a lot of people get angry. And then he'll be like, okay, and why? So I arouse curiosity. I make him want him to get to know more about me. And then eventually I zero down on why I'm the right candidate. And then whenever he asks me why he should employ me, I give him the answer, not why he should employ, why he shouldn't employ me, or rather why he should actually not employ me, you know? So this kind of shocks him and it's like, oh. So in everything I do things differently. So this is because I've taken years and years to practice and hone and sharpen my interview skills, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is interview skills are the making or breaking point for you to get a job. If you do not practice your interview skills, you're not going to succeed. You will not survive. You will not make it into the league that you want to make it. So please 
Make sure that you practice interview skills. What are the ways I recommend? Number one, the best one that I suggest at all, get yourself a mentor or someone who's an expert, not necessarily someone on a high position, but someone who genuinely cares and who's successful in communication. And decision makers at a very high level, yes, they are very good at that because they can guide you to actually what is, uh, you know, what sells. Because with experience comes maturity. Second one is practice videos. Uh, look at videos, review them, and you'll get to know and watch yourself, actually do it, because when you see yourself, you'll actually figure out whether you're, you're good or you're not good. Third one is practice voice recording. Re listen to your voice and play it back, you know, record your voice and play it back, write it down word for word, and then you'll know whether you are making sense or not. Last but not the least, have bulleted points that you buy hard and practice delivering them until you master them. So these are interview skills that I recommend and to tell you as to why interview skills are so important. Hope this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Live from LimeCedo.com saying goodbye for now.